Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. If you are running a Windows 11 laptop and want your laptop's battery to last longer on a single charge, then just a quick video to show you how you can improve your laptop's battery life by just changing a couple of quick settings um, to get the most out of your battery. Now, this is not a comprehensive list, but just a couple of quick settings, go-to settings, and this is in no particular order. Now, first of all, we need to head to our settings where we are going to apply all the changes in the settings app. So if you don't know where settings is, just do a search accordingly. And the first change we are going to make is turning on battery saver mode or energy saver. It's also known now in Windows 11. So for this, we head to our system, power and battery. And this will be called battery saver or energy saver. And what we do is we can put it to always or when your battery re reaches a certain percentage. But if you really want to get the most out of your battery in a certain situation, click it to always. I'm not going to do that because for the purpose of recording this video, it might cause complications. So when activated, this feature automatically minimizes background activity, dims your screen brightness, and restricts power intensive processes. And obviously this all helps to reduce your battery consumption and make the charge last a little bit longer. So that's the first thing we can try. Now the next is to reduce your screen brightness. Now that has already taken place if you put this to always or when the energy saver kicks in due to the percentage you have set it at. But if you don't want to be this extreme, then if you just want to reduce the screen brightness, because as you may well know, the display is one of your device's most power hungry components and reducing the brightness can help conserve your battery life. So for this, we head back to our main system page, display, and yeah, at the top, you'll see brightness and you can adjust that accordingly and dim that right down to get a little bit more out of your battery. Then something else uh, you can try is to set the power mode to maximum efficiency. And for this, we're going to head back into our system, power and battery. And because I'm recording this video and I have this laptop plugged in, I've got it set to best performance. But you can set it to best power efficiency. If, as mentioned, you want to get the most out of your battery and best power efficiency obviously speaks for itself. And then if you're finding yourself stepping away and moving away from your laptop on a regular basis, it can be wasting battery power by keeping the display running. So we can then adjust the screen timeout settings. So to do this, we just head down to the next fly out menu screen sleep and hibernate timeouts we just click on that and yeah you'll see on battery now what i would suggest is if you are on battery to make this setting 10 minutes and anything below that if you really want to get the most make it a minute and make my device sleep after and i would suggest the same when it comes to those sleep settings for your device and the final one, just to mention for the purpose of this video, is to check which apps consume the most battery. And I've actually posted a whole video on this, Windows 11 battery usage, how to identify power hungry apps. I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen. That'll give you all the info, but just a very quick recap for the purpose of this video. For this one, we head down to battery usage. And yeah, you can see the apps that are consuming the most battery. So if you notice an app that you're not really using on a regular basis, but it's consuming a large amount of battery, then you can actually stop it from running, which means that those processes running in the background then will be closed. And those are the processes that are consuming your battery. So as mentioned, you can see how to do that in that video, it'll be linked down below and in the end screen for more information. So that's just a couple of quick settings you can change as mentioned, to make your battery last a lot longer and to get the most out of your battery life. Obviously, some of these are extreme. And if you are using some of these features on a regular basis, obviously don't 
turn them off or disable them. But you might just find yourself in a situation where you need that battery to go as long as it possibly can. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.